Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second video for the tutorial for our Project 4.2 Photo Booth. In our first tutorial, we went over steps one through three, which was all the project setup. And so now in this tutorial, we're doing steps four and five, which are all the coding for the project. And it's actually really simple coding, and there are a lot of time saver tricks. So why don't we get started? If it's been a while since you've been in your project, remember to go back into CS first if you came in through CS first. And you're going to click on your projects um, menu and then you're going to have your project probably be the first one that's there unless you've been working in other projects since then. So once you open it back up, I'm going to start on our step four, which is to code our buttons. So I'm going to start on hats right up here up on top and there's actually only two blocks and they're both from the events menu. So I'm going to click on the events menu. I'm going to grab a when the sprite is clicked and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use a broadcast message. We haven't used that in class yet. This one simply whenever it is clicked since I attached it to this it is going to send instructions to other sprites. And so we want to broadcast a message, so we have to tell it what to broadcast. I'm going to have it broadcast hats. I'm going to type in hats. Remember to pause this as you're working with me so that you stay up with me on here. So now here is our time saver shortcut. You can actually take a block of code and you can drag it over another sprite. And once it shakes, it tells you that it's ready and you can just drop it right on there and it will copy it to those other sprites. So I'm going to do that for all four of my buttons. And so I want you guys to do that too. Take a moment and drag it over. It will shake and you can check it by clicking on all the other ones and making sure it's there. So it's copied it to all my buttons. So now though, I need to customize it because I don't want all of them to broadcast hats. I want them to broadcast different messages. So I'm gonna go to my glasses. I'm gonna hit new message. I'm gonna type in glasses. I'm gonna do this for, for all my buttons so you guys can do that as well as I'm doing it. I'm gonna do scarves. And then I'm going to do reset on the last one. So remember, pause it and stay up with me so that you have a completed project at the end. So that is all that there is for step four. Those two blocks, and we're just copying it onto each of them and customize them. So you're ready for step five now. In step five, we are coding our costume sprites. So I'm going to start with my party hats and I need to grab out a couple of blocks from our events menu and some from our looks menu. So I'm going to start with my events. I need one when green flag is clicked and I need two when I receive. So I'm going to grab out two of these ones and then I am going to grab out right now. I need to switch these to hats also because I'm on my hats sprite. So I have a when green flag is clicked when I receive hats when I receive hats. So now I'm going to switch my looks menu. And I want to grab out a switch costume and put it on my green flag and put another switch costume under this first one. But then my last one, I'm going to go to the next block down. It's called next costume. I'm going to attach that to my third one. So when green flag is clicked, I want to switch my costume to blank. And then I want to actually change this when I receive reset I also want to switch my costume to blank there are two ways that kind of erase all the hats on my on my character and then the last one when I receive hats it goes on to the next costume and it cycles through all my costumes and so now those are just the three blocks that you need and you need these same three blocks for your glasses and your scarf sprite so all you need to do now is do the same thing we did with the buttons I'm just gonna drag my lines of code over now, since there are three different blocks, I have to do it three times. So I'm gonna drag them over my glasses. And now I'm gonna do that same thing over to my scarves. And the second one, remember to do this with me so you have a completed project. So now when you go to the other sprites to check on it though, it looks like you only have one set and it's a little disturbing, but they're just kind of hiding behind each other. If you take this and pull it down, you'll see that second one. And then the first one's hiding behind that. So I'll do the same thing for my scarf so I can see them all because I need to customize these because now the code was the same, but our instructions are slightly different. So on scarf, I want to say when I receive scarves go to next costume. The other things all stay the same. Now with glasses, it's that same thing. 
the first two blocks stay the same and when I receive and I'm going to come down here I'm going to say glasses. So now my whole project is done. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to hit my green flag. I am going to hit hats and I can cycle through all my hats. I can go to glasses and scarves. I'll put a hat back on them and then I can say reset and I have a project that works. I hope that you guys have fun doing this and let me know if you have any questions. Created using Powtoon.